In this video, we are going to learn how to upload a custom font to your project in Builder, and then also how to apply that font to different text elements. All right, so start here in Builder by going to fonts and clicking add new font. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab four different values from the font that you're wanting to use. So start off with the name. So I'm using Google fonts. I found this really cool font called lobster Two. So I'm just going to copy that name, come back into builder, paste it. And then for the font family, um, once you actually select a style, you'll see that here in the CSS rules to specify family section. So it's just going to show font family lobster Two, and then the other fallback. So just grab that value. Usually it's the exact same as the name, but just in case it's not, now you know where to look. And then for font family fallbacks, those are gonna be these values that you see here um, under the CSS rule section. And then you're just gonna paste those and just separate them out by commas if you wanna add more. And then the last step for this is going to be to grab the URL of that font. So uh, you are going to find here in the link section uh, where it says uh, HTTPS and then it's the one that has the actual name in it, okay? And so you're gonna copy everything in between these quotation marks. And then you're gonna come back into Builder and then just paste that there and click Create Font. And boom, now you've brought it into your project. I do wanna show you, um, you can, if you actually have a font file downloaded or maybe you created one, you can actually upload it. Um, just click the Upload Font File and then you just go through the same steps and just upload the file there if you wanna use that. All right, so let's actually check how to apply Lobster 2 to some of the elements. So as you can tell, I've got um, a lot of heading elements here on my different pages. Now, what I wanna do in my use case is to apply that Lobster 2 font to the heading element in general. Um, so I'm gonna apply it to the main class so that it updates for all places that I use um, that heading element. If you do not want to do that, then what you'll do instead is create an appending class and then just add the font family property to it and then just do it that way. And you can go and add that appending class anywhere you want the font family to uh, use that, that new custom font you uploaded. So let me show you with my use case. So I'm going to select any one of the heading elements on um, any page and then I'm going to go into the primary style class. All right, so what I change here is going to apply to all of my headings. And I'm gonna come open up the typography section and I'm just gonna click into font family and change that to lobster two and boom. You can now see that that has been applied to every single area where I am using the heading element. So again, if you don't want to do that for all of your heading elements and you just kind of want to pick and choose which ones to update the font on, um, you're going to do it this way instead. So instead of applying it here, I'll just show you both ways. We'll remove it um, from the main font class and we'll set that kind of back to what it was before. Go back into the styling and then click apply utility class and just create a new utility class for that. Um, so I'm just gonna call this one lobster two font. And now we're gonna go into that utility class, open up typography and then find the lobster two for the font family. And so now what you'll see is I've got that utility style class applied only to this heading. So see, it didn't change anything else. And then you can go through and pick if you want to add that uh, utility class to any other uh, elements. And then it'll just update the font. All right, that should do it. Let us know if you have any questions.